Now to a story the Target 12 investigators broke first. An 11-year-old Warren lands a former Providence College basketball star in the ACI. And today we learn more about the statutory rape case in court and talk to the defendant's family. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau joins us now live from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Abdul Abdullah's family told us the defendant, Abdul Abdullah's family told us the defendant thought the case was closed and had no idea there was a decade old warrant with his name on it. Abdullah was wearing shorts with a basketball logo from Brown University, where he was a volunteer assistant coach for two years, ending in 2012. Court records show Abdullah pleaded guilty to statutory rape in 2005 in Georgia for a 1999 New Year's Day incident. His attorney told the court Abdullah thought he had approval to move back to Rhode Island after he served a six-month sentence 11 years ago in Georgia. The prosecution argued that according to officials with the DeKalb County DA's office, there is no record that Abdullah had permission to leave and and not report to probation. During a traffic stop on Monday, a Cranston police officer ran a national criminal database check and discovered the outstanding warrant from 2006. His attorney told the court while the warrant was active, Abdullah's probation had ended. Brown University would not comment on the case specifically, but did tell us background checks are run on volunteer coaches. A spokesman would not say whether or not the university knew about Abdullah's record or the warrant. Brian Clark told us in all cases, Brown assesses the details provided during the screening process and makes an informed decision before offering a position to a candidate. Abdullah's daughter and brother were in the courtroom as well. Youssef Abdullah told Target 12, it's terrible that you can take a man's freedom away when he served his time and hasn't been in trouble. The judge granted Abdullah double surety bail, which means two different individuals will have to pay $5,000 each for two $50,000 bonds. And whether or not he makes bail, he is due back in court here at the beginning of August. With the Target 12 investigators in Warwick, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.